All right, so I am currently doing a whole series on my channel talking about all the pros and cons of every single piercing I have. And I feel like I already have a conch video. I have one where I get it pierced and then an updated one. But I can't remember if I talked about the pros and cons in that video. And if I didn't, then here you go. I'm going to be telling you all the pros and cons of the conch piercing along with all of my recommendations and tips. Anyways, before I get into it, make sure to like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and let's go all right so like I said I'm doing a whole series on my channel of all the pros and cons of all the piercings I have I literally just filmed them all and if you want to check them out I'm gonna leave the playlist down below or somewhere up here but as for the conch piercing, I think I've had this for two years now, or maybe three. And I wrote down here all of the pros and cons, along with everything you should know before getting this piercing. I'm going to start off with the pain level. I don't remember what I said the pain was in the vlog. I think it was like a 3 out of 10. Honestly, the conch piercing is pretty painless. Here is my conch. I have this cute little triple hoop on it. I'll link it in the description if you guys want it. Also, I'll put a picture of somebody else's conch here in case you didn't like mine. <laughs> My conch is beautiful, okay? Anyways, let's get into the pros and cons. I have my handy dandy notebook right here. Pro number one, it's pretty as <laughs> Look at it. Like, you can't tell me this piercing isn't pretty. It's also, like, very stylish. Depending on what jewelry you put on, your ear just looks very trendy, very stylish. So, um, that's a pro. Another pro is that it healed really fast. I was pretty surprised because your conch is kind of thick. But yeah, the healing process was super simple, super quick. It honestly didn't give me any hassle or any issues. Not only that, but this piercing is so versatile. You have so many jewelry options. You could wear, like, a thick triple hoop like I have and they come in different colors and you could find any hoop in any color not only that but you could wear little like studs I'll just put a picture here look at how cute a stud looks it's so cute that I'm considering getting a conch on my other ear just to put a stud because I can't pick between the hoop or the stud you have so many options with your jewelry you could just really curate your ear to look so aesthetic all right so now on to the cons con number one is that you can't pierce it with a hoop my intentions when I first got it pierced was that I wanted a hoop but the lady said no and I'm glad that I didn't get it with a hoop because I feel like it would have given me a lot of problems especially since I f***ed up and got it on the ear that I sleep on even with this hoop now I don't have any issues like it's fully healed but it does like bother me since I sleep on this side but yeah that's a con con number two is that you do hit it often and when you first get it pierced since they pierce it with the long little barbell it does get caught in your hair especially the back side when you're showering your hair just like wraps around it so you do have to be careful definitely definitely keep that in mind when you're in the shower it's gonna get caught in your hair another con is that whatever headphone you use whether it's like an airpod in your ear or like the big over the ear headphones this piercing is gonna interfere with that regardless of what jewelry you have if you have the hoop over the ear headphones are annoying if you have the stud in the ear headphones are annoying this piercing is not really headphone friendly which sucks it's also not glasses friendly every time I put sunglasses on I've noticed that it gets hit with the back of my sunglasses so be careful with that another con is that this piercing isn't really that unique so many people have it I feel like it's becoming more and more common so I feel like you might look like every other bitch but it's so pretty that it's not so much of a bad thing but if you're somebody that's kind of like snobby and really wants to be different and not go with the crowd then this piercing is probably not for you because a lot of people have it all right so now on to my tips and my recommendations first one being do not get it on the ear that you sleep on because it's gonna bother you even when it's healed like I mentioned to this day it's completely healed but it still bothers me because I sleep on this side so I have to make sure to like push the earring down and that's just kind of annoying my second recommendation is don't get it on the ear that you cover the most with your hair which is what I did which is kind of why I want to get it on the other ear so I could just put the hoop here and then the stud on this side and then problem solved but yeah don't get it on the ear you sleep on and don't get it on the side of the ear that you cover the most with your hair because you want people to see this beautiful piercing all right so that's pretty much all the pros and cons I have for the conch piercing if I forgot to mention anything just leave it in the comments in case somebody is considering getting this piercing then you can help them out with your advice also check out my other piercing pros and cons i'm gonna leave the playlist in the description but yeah make sure to like and subscribe follow me on instagram and i will see you in my next video